Now it's probably one of the more unusual sports you'll hear of, but there's quite the scene for horse ploughing in the south. The Southern Counties Heavy Horse Association held their 45th Horse Ploughing Championships in October and joining us from the association is John Lovett. So John, can you tell us what pl horse ploughing is all about? Well primarily before we, we actually talk about the ploughing side of it, the, the association, Southern Counties Heavy Horse Association, is the oldest working heavy horse association in the country. Uh, it's been running for 47 years and our aims and ideals are to encourage people to plough with horses. So the ploughing match is the accumulation of a year's work to get it ready to encourage young people to plough. A lot of the ploughmen that come to us are older folk obviously that have been involved for years but what we're trying to do is keep horse ploughing alive by encouraging the younger people to come and to plough. Uh, and to do that we encourage them to come to our association with any activity that they want to carry on with heavy horses, in competition driving, showing a horse in hand, showing a horse with its harness on, uh, riding, there's a big, quite a big riding uh, group now in the heavy horse world. Come to us and do that and we encourage that as well and what we do is say well what about having a go at horse ploughing as well and they join us and they help us to keep alive the great tradition of horse ploughing while they're still carrying on their particular niche of the world of the heavy horse, whatever it may be. So without the association, how at risk of dying out would the tradition be? There are, well without the association such as ours, we have to say the old, old, oldest, there are other associations in the country, but without the associations, horse ploughing now, because there are no very few people left, if any, that are ploughing with horses that, work, that actually worked with the horses as a ploughing, as a, a working tool on the farms in years gone by. Uh, it's just one of those things which would fade out would disappear altogether and we don't feel that the great traditions that kept this country and made us what we are should fade out, they should be forgotten. So we're encouraging young people to do it. And fortunately for us, we, we have more, each year we, we see more younger people coming in to the horse ploughing. So some people might be surprised by that, you're actually on an up right now. It's, it is, I mean, a lot of them, the family links are there, perhaps, grandfather worked with the horses or they've been, in, as a youngster they were impressed with heavy horses that they saw somewhere. Uh, and they've come along and they like to try their hand uh, and they very soon become instilled with the, the aims and ideals that we have of encouraging something that made, as I say, made the country what it is. Horse ploughing was the way that the, the farmers worked the ground in those days. There weren't machines, there weren't tractors, there weren't steam engines, pre, pre, pre all of that. Uh, and it's a very important part of our history and we are still very reliant on the farmers and the farmers try and keep it alive. They're very conscious of what we're doing and we're very fortunate in the farmers that all the farms that we go to to hold the match allow us to come onto their ground with no charge. They don't charge us for coming on. And when you see the state the ground is in sometimes, not from the ploughing, but if the weather's a bit bad, as you saw the other day when you passed our match in October, um, when it's very, very bad, the roads get muddy, the fields get messed up, but the farmers are still pleased to have us there they always make us very, very welcome. Uh, and in this particular area where we are now, we've got a group of farmers who support us and we go to them on a regular basis with the match and they always enjoy it uh, and always encourage us. So it's, it's nice to know that there are still people out there who will help us by supplying the site because without a site, obviously, we've, we've got nothing. And I'm sure for me personally, I can picture now what ploughing is but break down what a match actually entails. A ploughing match is just basically a ploughing competition, but there are different, without going too technical, there are lots of different classes. There's a single horse class, which obviously by the name implies there's one horse with a plough. There, the majority of the ploughing is done with a pair, pair of horses. There is short turn furrow, long turn furrow, high cut, general purpose. All those things, it's technical terms, it's the way in which you plough the ground, uh, the one that is of interest is the high cup. To me, it's what you call the high school of ploughing. And if you get youngsters to, say, draw a field with furrows on it, the, the youngsters would tend to sort of do, make the furrows like that. Well, the high cut work, uh, the work, work, the, the work we, we call the ground the work when it's, being, when it's being dealt with, the high cut work is ploughing what's called an oat seed furrow. And I say we don't want to get too technical, but an oat seed furrow is a furrow that has the sides polished so that as you scatter the seed it falls to the bottom of the furrow. If it didn't do that it wouldn't when you when you grow a crop of oats you see it you can see the lines the straight lines 
a general purpose furrow is a furrow which is the same, it's built the same, but it's not the sides aren't polished, it can be broken soil and other crops, you just sow it on the ground, it's harrowed down and it, you get a crop of all over the field. The oat seed furrow, on the plough you fit lots of different attachments that you call, they're called boats, seamers or presses, all of those things help to polish the sides of the, the, the furrow for that particular job. Um, you don't see it done very often, it's not done, general, it's not done very often with tractors, it hasn't followed through, it's just something that goes back to the days of horse ploughing. And of course, what the judges are looking for is the evenness of depth and the overall straightness of the furrow. And people don't understand that straight away. They look at a furrow and say, it's beautiful and straight. Well, that's very important. The competition that we run, the, each ploughman has to plough an area of 8 by 80 yards. And we start them at uh, the high cut work takes a bit longer. So we start them at 10 o'clock and they plough on through, through till 3 o'clock and the rest of the classes start at half ten or eleven o'clock and plough through until they've finished. If they don't finish their work in the, in the time allocated, they're actually penalised. Uh, and there are various aspects of the work which the judges will take into account. Um, their ins and outs. The ins are when the plough goes into the ground, that is judged, and when the plough comes out of the ground at the far end, that is judged as well. It's got to be, when you finish the plot, it's got to look tidy. That's the basis of it. Brilliant. And John, just before we go, dates in the diary for people this year? Yeah, 21st of October this year at Bushy Down Farm in Droxford, which is SO32 3QW. Uh, or our website for the society is www.schha.co.uk. And our spring event, which is down in the New Forest, which is at Harbridge Farm, Ringwood, is on the 15th of April. And if you go to any of our events, follow the yellow signs marked Heavy Horse uh, and you'll find us there. But do come and join us. Come along. There are a lot of members already who don't own horses. There are a lot of supporting members. And for the supporting members, we run events like hands-on days where they can come along and have a go with the horses, quiz nights. We have talks from various interesting people. Uh, we have visits to museums, etc. And our archives are actually held in the uh, Museum of Rural Life in Reading. They're looking after our archive of our association and what we've done over the years. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming in to talk to us. Okay, about well, it. thanks for listening. <laughs> Pleasure. Great to be here. Thank you.